Most people who see a service dog team out in public only see a cute dog they want to pet or an opportunity to ask personal questions about a handler's disability. However, what most people don't see are the daily struggles, challenges, and battles every service dog handler faces each day. You see, behind every service dog is a handler struggling to survive. A handler who has been bounced around from specialist to specialist and has been in and out of hospitals for years without answers. A person who has gone on countless, long, exhausting, out-of-state road trips for referrals, experimental treatments, and is on their fourth or fifth second opinion. Most people don't see the lifestyle changes the handlers and families have had to make, the anxiety, the depression, confusion, and stress families have gone through just to try to live the best life they possibly can, only to be told time and time again that there's nothing else the doctors can do. So before getting mad at a handler for not allowing you to pet their working service dog or ask them questions or allow your children to play with their dog, remember the individual you're speaking to could be having a really rough day. And the service dog you're asking to purposefully distract is most oftentimes the handler's last hope and only chance at life. You see, a service dog isn't just a dog. It's not just a pet someone decided to take into a grocery store for a fun time. A service dog is a person's medical equipment, treatment plan, and lifeline, which is why distracting a service dog is considered a federal crime in the United States. So the next time you see a service dog out in public you want to pet, or you want to let your kids run up to, think about what you're asking for.